Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sochil. If you are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with some more videos, especially if you love makeup tutorials and reviews. Today, I wanted to do a haul, but a very different haul. This is the most money-saving efficient haul. This is an anti-haul. So basically, going to be going through one of my favorite pages to follow for new and upcoming makeup products, Trend Mood of One, I believe. Yeah, Trend mood one here on instagram and honestly i think her and budget beauty guru and then beauty addiction i love following them just to see what's new up and coming in the beauty world and a lot of times you know i'm just kind of like what am i excited about what am i not and while i buy a lot a lot of makeup there's definitely a lot of makeup where i personally just feel like there's a lot of makeup where i personally just feel like it's not worth it i don't need it i don't want it i'm not excited about it so i wanted to do another one of those those video it's been a while since I've done one this is like the best a budget video to use and hopefully I can help you guys save even more money so let's just talk about the first product that I see on here it is the KKW beauty body foundation and honestly while like yeah it looks totally cool the difference that it can make and especially I feel like for people who maybe might have like psoriasis or just like a skin conditions maybe or bruises or bumps on their legs that they want to cover I'm just kind of like do I want to pay that much for it or whatever I'd rather go to Walgreens and buy Sally Henson for legs ever heard about it type of a deal uh, I just kind of like do I need to buy you know spend that much on body foundation or like why is this I don't yeah I've heard the controversy that people are like mad about it or I don't know exactly why but people are like have an issue it was like but there have been these types of products for a while so for that one I'm just kind of a little bit confused um but yeah I'd rather just like stuff like that like what is it like um skin tanning legs like that's that's been around for a while like i've heard of like sally henson for the longest and my pasty ass needs to get it so i'd rather just run to walgreens to try that out rather than you know spending how much is this 45 dollars yeah i'm good i you know i'll go to walgreens instead this one's interesting so ulta beauty came out with a frida kahlo collection Normally, I love Frida Kahlo, like if I like a t-shirt or a mug, I think it's so cute, you know, whatever, but I don't know, I just feel a little bit weird about Ulta Beauty doing a Frida Kahlo collection, like I don't know why, or I don't know, it's just, it's just weird, I'm just a little bit confused, I just feel like honestly this is just one of those, they're like, hey, Frida sells, it's added to some makeup and sell it type of deal, plus I wasn't a big fan of like the advertisement they did with whoever was doing like the makeup, I, I didn't like, I don't know, like the eyeshadow application, the lipstick application, I was like, okay, let's, let's make it look good, I don't know if they're trying to make it look effortless, effortless, but it just looked a little messy to me, <laughs> I, I just wasn't a big fan of how maybe this was rolled out or... I don't know, it's just not, I'm not excited about it. Let me know if any of you guys are Frida Kahlo fans, like I love it. Um, I know a lot of people have the issue with like Frida wouldn't have wanted it, you know, like capitalism, you know, like all that stuff. Um, I get it. And for this one, I'm just kind of like, yeah, you know, it's, yeah, <laughs> kind of a deal. So I, I think I'm gonna pass on that one. I'm just kind of like, I don't know, I'm not sure. Okay, so Buxom Cosmetics just came out with two different eyeshadow palettes. They're called the Boss Babe Beauty. And one of them is more like a warm, orangey ones. And the other one's like an all purple palette. I'm not excited. I'm really, I don't know. I don't think of Buxom and I don't think eyeshadows. I more so think of them for like their lip glosses. And if they wanted to, I would probably buy their other lip products. But I don't know. I'm just like a little bit not excited like it just meh i feel like these look like eyeshadow palettes i've seen before i feel like this looks like eyeshadow palettes that like l'oreal can come out with type of a deal it's just not very exciting like maybe it does look like a neutral everyday palette maybe that people can use if you love purples and you love warms but for me i'm just like i don't know i know i know before buxom tried to come out with like those singles that you can kind of put into and like create like your own little palette which is kind of cool but i don't know i'm just not except for them i don't think eyeshadow for or at least they haven't come up with like an eyeshadow palette it's like oh exciting new where they can kind of get me there i'm like you know what I, i'm gonna try out your eyeshadows type of a deal these just look like this looks um the warm neutrals one 
reminds me a little bit of like the Urban Decay, their, what was that, like their Fiery palette that came out recently. Um, and then the other one just reminds me of like just a regular purple palette that, like maybe like an old Lorac palette or something like that. But like I'd probably trust and know maybe the Lorac eyeshadow for me a little bit better. And if I wanted a purple palette, I'd probably get theirs. Yeah, a pass for me. Oh, okay. So I love to kind of put in here like palettes or products where I'm torn about and I need your help whether I should get it or not. This is like part of the anti-haul where it's like, should it be an anti-haul or should I get it? So ColourPop came out with their Uh Huh Honey palette. And at first I was like, I don't need an all yellow palette. But then I'm just like, ooh, but yellow, just like a nice yellow on the eyes and then like some tutorials I've seen and just some, you know, eye product like videos and stuff like that and some, but just some tutorials that I've seen and some pictures. I'm just like, do I need it? But then again, it's just all yellow. Like honestly, I'm probably gonna use it for like one or two looks and never use it again. But at the same time, I was like, it's so cute though. And it's only like $12 and they have like their other little, maybe if I want just like a shimmer topper or something. This is one where it's like, do I need it? I feel like I don't, but I kind of do want it because it's like hyped and it just looks really cute and pretty. But at the same time, it's like, I'm going to use it like once a year, maybe in like the summertime, maybe. But let me know. I know they have like those other smaller palettes. They have like the all pink one, the all purple one, like kind of watermelon red one, blue, um, green. I don't know. It's nice. It's cool. They have like that little color scheme. So you have like different variation of colors. But do I need those? How many of you guys have picked those up and how many times have you used them? That's the interesting part. Am I right? Is it only going to be like once or twice or do you, you know, pick them up a lot? So, but who's on the same boat? Do you feel like you need the Aha uh -huh Honey palette from ColourPop? Because part of me is just kind of like, uh, luckily it was sold out and I was like, you know what? Let me just get it type of a deal. So it's like, okay, let's think about this some more. Let's sit on it a little bit and uh, let's see. But let me know if you feel like I need it, you need it, we need it, or if you've gotten it and you can confirm whether we need it or not. Next product. It's actually one that I did buy, but I haven't used it, and I think I'm going to return it. It is the Juvia's Place Foundation. I was not really excited. I don't know. Part of me was kind of excited, but part of me not really. I kind of figured it maybe wouldn't work out, but I was like, ooh, cute packaging. Let me check it out. Juvia's Place, I have tried out their eyeshadow palettes, and I was like, you know what? Okay, let's try a foundation. Honestly, more than anything, I want to try the concealer, but they didn't have it at Ulta, so I was like, ooh, they have the foundation. Let me try it out. It's supposed to be full-on matte coverage. I have dry skin if you are new here, so I was just like, it's probably not going to work for me, but it's the summer. Let's give it a shot. So if you follow me here on Instagram, which I'll put right here, which totally Go ahead and add me so you can keep up on my Insta stories. I had gotten a Ulta gift card for my birthday, so I picked up a couple of different products, some that I still have to review, and one of them was the Juvia's Place Foundation because I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's let's check it out. I have a gift card. Why not? If you don't like it, we can just return it as per usual. As soon as I completed that order, I started to see all this controversy going on on Twitter. I was just like, whoa, what's going on? And it's like one of those where I specifically don't, not because I love a certain, you know, YouTube or something. I'm like, oh my God, whatever they say goes. But I will go ahead and do my own research, look into things. And I think I was following like, what is it here for the tier or whatever? And just kind of getting like a nice little summary screenshot caption of just like some drama going on feel free to follow you know look it up on twitter yourself and make your own decision but there was there's a lot going down on twitter and i feel like just the way for me personally what rubs me the wrong way is like okay things are gonna happen and how you kind of respond to them as a brand as a brand owner i think is going to make the biggest difference and honestly just kind of seeing what like the brand owner was kind of going off on twitter i think just really rubbed me the wrong way and i was just kind of like not only like the brand owner but even like on the brand's page like some of the responses to like you know followers and stuff like that and customers was just kind of like whoa like i get it you know you want to maybe stand up for yourself a little bit but remember you're brand and you know whatever you say is you know it's how you're going to be perceived not you but your brand type of a deal so you got to have some like professionalism with it and I feel like the fact that it was just handled very unprofessionally um I just wasn't a fan of <laughs> and I'm just like you know what I like there's so many other brands who have probably similar products and I just feel like this is one where I kind of don't want to support this anymore like I don't I don't support it I'm just kind of like oh this this no I'd rather give my money to somebody else just with everything that was kind of going on happening 
but then i think for me just like the response to it all from the brand's page and the brand owner was just kind of like i know this this leaves a bad taste in my mouth i was like next so i haven't even opened it up i think i'm just gonna return it let me know how you guys feel about all this controversy kind of going on just like at juvia's place or at whatever the owner on twitter so you can kind of keep up and make the decision for yourself I feel like that, yeah, a lot of big influencers kind of speaking up about it really brought it to light. But just because it's like, oh, I love Patrick Starr or I love, you know, certain people, I'm not going to follow them blindly type of deal. Look into it yourself and, you know, kind of make your own decision. And that's, I feel like, why I really am just like, I can't get down with this. Like, I can't get down with you, Juvia's Place anymore. I don't know. I'm just kind of like, next, we'll see, you know, who else is uh, up and coming indie brands, women of color owned brands. Like, I'd rather, you know, give my money to speaking of problematic brands <laughs> another brand which i personally am just gonna put it out here i don't see myself supporting giving my money to trusting sadly i think jacqueline cosmetics jacqueline hill cosmetics whatever you want to call yourself i think for that i think that's another situation where those lipsticks i almost kind of found myself to i've been like an on and off bandwagon but i just feel like Things are going to happen, you know, with like, you know, launches and stuff like that. And I feel like it's not a surprise that something happened. That's not a surprise at all, just given past experiences. But once again, what rubbed me the wrong way has been the response from the brand, from the brand owner. It's just like, wow. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy it's like wow there's all this stuff going on and just the fact that you want to either stay silent like i get him if you want to do research but no you need to know uh-uh like you can't hide behind mommy you can't you know just hide under your covers and hope that it all goes away type of a deal i don't know i just feel like that was just like wow wow maybe you should have like hired someone you know to kind of handle who has experience in like this type of business to handle everything or maybe even had like, hired a PR person like at this point you should have like a really good PR person because I feel like that has not been on the budget or in general I just feel like you could have I feel like just with past <laughs> types of launches and issues with like quality control type of a deal always having a problem with that I feel like even if you would have put your whole budget into quality control and would have gotten like a bowl and mixed the products yourself and like you know type of form them and bake them in an easy bake oven and sold like five lipsticks i think that would have been a more successful launch <laughs> type of a deal than this it's just like quality control word of the day <laughs> invest in it type of a deal and um pr and a you know actual business person on the team type of a deal i just feel like for me it was just like mm, not surprising but surprising is how it's handled type of a deal so i feel like it's just like one of those it's like i i'm okay say so they come out with new products say some of you you know are fans say you bought the products however you handle it however you feel about it after this would you buy another lipstick another product like i just feel like the trust there is just kind of like broken i know there's some people who are ride or die hardcore that's totally up to you but I like feel for me, I was like, there's so many other brands out there <laughs> where I don't have to worry about this, you know, type of a deal. I mean, now I'm just like, I cleaned a couple of my lipsticks out <laughs> for sure. But I just feel like, yeah, this is just one of those. Honestly, I feel like communication from a business is huge. Things are going to happen. How you go about communicating them, how you go about your response, I think makes the biggest difference. I think if communication would have been way different if it would have been there to begin with, I think this could have been handled a little bit differently. The results, you know, could have been a little bit different. Still waiting to hear and see what's, you know, the future of that. But I feel like for me, that's anti-haul AF. Like, <laughs> never. I'm straight. I'll save my money. I, I'd rather go buy some ColourPop lipsticks or, you know, some other affordable lipsticks for the same price, a better quality. The Luminous Collection, the Sir John in collaboration with Luminous, the Disney Collection, the Lion King Collection. This is one of those where I need help with. Do I? Is it worth it? I honestly wasn't too excited about it. I think it was kind of cool that I did get to see um, Desi and Makeup Shayla use them on their channel. And I believe as well as Patrick Starr. But I don't know. I just feel like hmm, the eyeshadow palette, I'm not that enthused by. It was kind of cool, you know, that it was Beyonce's makeup artist. The contour palette, I feel like I'm not exactly 
excited about contour palettes i feel like if it's just for me i really don't need it and maybe at most maybe just because it says disney just because it says lion king i might want to get maybe the highlight or the lipsticks but i don't know i'm just not that excited about it let me know if you guys want to pick it up have you picked it up is it worth it i feel like this is just one of those where i'm just like meh <laughs> that's how i explain things are just like man you know <laughs> man that's the only word that's my definition of it that's exactly how i feel i'm just like i don't know is it worth it maybe the highlight if you're i think if i was a huge lion king fan i would totally get it but i'm not that big of a lion king fan i love lion king but not like that where i need the highlight maybe if it was like my favorite disney princess which i was like do i have one i'm not sure type of a deal maybe i'm not i don't know i just don't feel like i need it if it was something from like coco the movie then yeah i would probably get that <laughs> l'oreal infallible pro matte liquid lipsticks it came out with like a macaroon macaron you know a line out there with like some nice bright colors i'm trying to remember i a while ago i tried the l'oreal pro matte liquid lipsticks a while ago when they first came out it was like a neutral one i don't even think i have it anymore and i feel like it was fine it wasn't like my favorite drugstore liquid lipstick formula so hence you haven't seen me really buy another one because i've tried other ones that i prefer a little bit more so for this one i'm just kind of like it would just be like do i need these colors in my life type of a deal but I'm not excited i'm not excited about it it's probably like a nice formula and it just depends do you want those colors or not if i like got sent them like yeah i would totally do a video but it's like mm, where do i put my budget towards and for you guys too is that something you would want to see a lip swatch of those lipsticks or a lip swatch of other lipsticks type of a deal so that's right for me i'm just like i'll pass on those eventually maybe i can try them out and see if it's worth it but there's other products I kind of want to get to first. So those are just a couple of the newest products launches that have just come out or are coming out soon that I honestly just feel like are maybe a pass for me. I probably won't be picking up unless you can convince me otherwise that you've tried it, you swear by it, and I need it in my life type of a deal. Like, what's your pitch? Pitch me. Should I get it or not? I hope you guys enjoy these videos as much as a regular haul. I think it's always kind of interesting to hear about like maybe why you wouldn't buy a product. Everybody's opinion is different just because i'm not interested in something or i don't like something doesn't mean you need to get all butthurt about it if you love it type of a deal i don't think anybody would but if you did i'm just kind of like don't be don't come at me type of a deal that that's just my opinion that's how i feel you know let me know if you want to continue seeing more of these videos maybe every like couple of three or four months i try to do these and just talk about some of the newest products that maybe don't make it here on my channel and why they don't make it here but thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.